Welcome to Fat Cloud TV, brought to you by Vaping Cheap. In this episode, we'll be taking a look at the new, brand new Recoil Rebel RDA. Like said in the beginning of this video in the introduction, we'll be taking a look at the brand new Recoil Rebel RDA. Um, this is the newest RDA coming from Grim Green and Ownboy OC. If you've read our top RDA article, which I'll link down in the description down below, we were a big fan of the original Recoil RDA. We actually did our first impressions as well on it um, when it first released, and it became one of our favorite RDAs of last year. And even into this year, we feel like it's still a great performing RDA. It comes with a flavor cap and a uh, Cloudsboro cloud cap. This one comes with two different top caps as well, giving you... Um, you know, two different vape experiences. One it, one does have that traditional snake bite airflow, is what Grim Green calls it, while the other is completely different, and we haven't seen it with the previous Recoil RDA. Now, I'm not going to really talk too much on it, because I, I haven't even vaped this yet. I just got this in the mail not too long ago. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the build deck, what it comes with, and all that good stuff, and then throw a build on it, vape it, and I'll let you know what I think about it. I'll see you down below. All right, here we are up close with the Recoil Rebel RDA. I mean, let's take a look at this packaging real quick. I mean, the packaging itself is awesome. I was a big fan of the original. I actually have the original right here just up here, um, just really quickly. Relatively similar, but just have you know minor differences. I think it, they both have excellent packaging. But anyway, I'm gonna show you you know, a few differences between the two and a few. But inside, you have the Recoil Rebel RDA, the extra top cap. This is the new top cap that comes with, with four airflow holes that are fully adjustable, by the way. I have the black color. It is available, I think, in stainless steel and gold, I think. All right. So you do, in this section right here, you do have that little Altum, uh, I guess disc or juice holder, whatever you want to call it. I forgot exactly what he called it in his video. But you do get a bunch of uh, spears. Uh, I definitely would like to see a squawk pin included, but it's not the end of the world, to be honest with you. I'm going to go ahead and attach this to a mod really quickly. So I can pull off the uh, top cap really quickly. All right, so here's the build deck. I mean, it is pretty similar to the original, actually, except with minor changes. This looks like it could house or hold bigger builds for sure. The, I think the diameter of the build deck itself is 24 millimeter. Then when you put on the top cap, is 25 millimeters. Now, if I take off this Alton ring, which is there to like um, hold juice when you're tilting the RDA and prevent leaking, I mean, you can see it has a deep. A <laughs> pretty deep juice well, as it is big, and um, there's plenty, plenty of room, man, to put cotton and coils, definitely for sure. I really like the build deck, um, and I think those are gold plated screws too. It looks like, um, yeah, the build deck is really nice. Now, I'll show you the airflow. One, this is the snake, the snake bite uh, top cap. If I'm not mistaken, this is more aimed towards flavor. I am a big fan of this airflow. It's actually really, really smooth. This doesn't come with the drip tip, of course, because, well, it's on the other one. This airflow is not adjustable, however. This is also domed, which is good for flavor. And this is the other top cap. So what's cool about this top cap is that you can really fully adjust it. So you can close one airflow, two airflow, three airflow, or close all on it. Pretty sure. Uh, let me just make sure real quick. Yep, you can close all four if you wanted to. Um, it's, it's probably gonna be hard to see, but you can have like the top two open. You can have like these two and then this one open. Um, it, I mean, the airflow adjustment is just endless, which is which is awesome. You can kind of create, you know, an airflow that's perfect for you. If you want it wide open, I mean, you'll probably be 
you know, they're cloud chasing and probably get uh, tons and tons of amount of vapor. But for me, I mean, I probably would close at least two of these airflow holes off. You know, the recoil symbol right there, the double R. Um, yeah, I mean, it's pretty straightforward. I'm going to drop the ultimate ring back in here. I'm pretty sure he does recommend when you're building it that you do take this out, but you can build with, with the ultimate ring in there, but, you know, I would, of course, too, recommend that you do not build with it in there just for safe purpose, you know, safekeeping. Um, yeah, I love the addition of the new cap. And this black on black setup is just nice. This is the Relo RX Gen 3, by the way. Yeah, I mean, and then the Sneak by Airflow. The O-rings, by the way, are really, really uh, tight. I'm pretty sure we're with some e-liquid, it'll loosen up just a bit. And just to show you a comparison, before I go ahead and throw a building here, of the Recoil Rebel. And the, yeah, these are like tight, oh my god. <laughs> this is definitely going to need some uh, e-liquid. But just to show you. Now, the only reason why this looks tall, I'm trying to get this. <sighs> There you go. The top cap is all the way down now. Just to show you, the Recoil Rebel is a little bit bigger. Not by like a whole lot, because this was 24 millimeter diameter. But for sure, this build like, was slightly smaller than this one. It has the same drip tip. The drip tips that are compatible with the original Recoil are compatible with the Recoil Rebel, which is cool. I mean, it's not like an 810 or 510 drip tip, so that might be a con to you, but I, I like these drip tips that they, they come with. Um, yeah, so, I mean, it's very, very minor differences. The build deck um, are relatively the same. Let me just accept. I mean, the, the staggered posts are the same. And the, I think I have a build in the recoil, by the way, just to let you guys know. This makes just make it easier. Give me one second. There we go. Yeah, don't mind that build. But you can see that they're relatively similar to build deck. Um, it's just that this has much wider post holes, much bigger post holes, and they're like more square where these are more rounded. But I mean, generally speaking, they're like basically the same. But you can see this is bigger than this build deck is bigger than that build deck for sure. But yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead. And throw a build in the recoil rubble. I'll let you know what I think about it. So I just want to show you guys real quick before we come back up um, the build I put in there. It's a dual fuse clapped in. I'm, I think it's yeah seven wrap around a three millimeter. So it's coming out to a, around 0 0.2 ohm, 0 0.22 around there. Um, it was really easy to build this RDA, just like the original recoils. The the, the lead which is higher goes into this post on the end, on the end side. So, you know, allows for kind to easily, you know, be kind of tucked in. And it, you know, the stagger design just, it just makes it really easy. And I have the ultimate in there. And as you can see, this coil is fairly large and I have no issues. And I, I could probably fit like eight or nine or even 10 wraps in here with no issues. So definitely it has a good amount of room for sure. And the e-liquid of choice today, just in case you're wondering, is the one by Baird Vape Co. This is like a strawberry milk cereal donut. I don't know, it's a bunch of strawberry and other stuff. Something like that. But uh, yeah, so I'm a, wow. Don't you hate it when that happens with Chubby Gorilla bottles, right? Jeez. So I'm going to go ahead and drip some e liquid. Let me go ahead and put it on. So the bill came out to a 0.21. I have it set to 70 watts. I'm just going to go ahead and um, drip some e liquid. Alright, look, you could. I mean, this is quite a deep juice, I'll say. And we're cooking. So, yeah. We're going to go back up top and I'll give you some of my thoughts. And here we're back with the Recoil Rebel RDA by Grim Green and Omboy OC. As I showed you down below, I have a dual fuse clapped in build. 
the resistance came out to a 0 0.21 ohm and it is a 36 gauge nichrome 80 on the outer and 26 gauge nichrome 80 on the inner um so let's take a vape on it i have the newer airflow style cap with the four holes i have the top four holes closed off top four <laughs> top two airflow holes closed off and the bottom two open um 77 watts so let's give it a go Plenty of vapor. Flavor is pretty good. Wow, the juice is actually really good. Um, the one by D Bitter Vape Co. This stuff right here is actually pretty delicious. That was my first time trying it too. We'll have a review on the Vapor Cheap website for this. Um, either, I'm, probably it'll be posted when this video gets posted. So I'll leave a link down in the description below if you're interested in checking it out. But um, yeah, it's like a strawberry cereal, a little bit of donut, and cream. Yeah, it's it's milk. It's it's good. A little touch throaty, but it could be me. I've been vaping 1.5 milligram for a little bit, so three might just come off of just a tad bit throaty for me. But um, yeah, the airflow is nice and smooth. Now a little whistly. This yeah, not too whistly. Yeah, flavor is good. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and close the bottom two and leave open the top two. And that sounds a bit, a little bit more turbulent. It's probably because of the coil placement, but let's give it a go. What's interesting, <coughs> it's giving out a different flavor note now in this juice with the top two airflow holes open. Huh. That's interesting. But well, anyway, now I'll go ahead and open the top two and one on the bottom at 77 watts. Yeah, that's eerie. For me, <coughs> um, and it's probably foggy. For me, that's a little bit too eerie because I, I like more of a bit of a restriction. I'll just do it wide open for you guys. I'll turn up the wattage just a bit to 85 watts on the Rolo. And you see all four air holes open. Yeah, that's, man, that's, <laughs> that's plenty of airflow. Let me uh, drip some e liquid. Now, what's great about this RDA, and I know Grim Green designed it this way, is just you could literally just drip e-liquid e down the center and just vape. And uh, yeah, so anyway, let me um, go ahead and give the syrup. Of course, with that much airflow, the flavor is not gonna be as intense. Um, the, of course, more vapor though, <coughs> excuse me. Um, yeah, a little bit too throaty for me, uh, 3 milligram. Like I said, I vape a lot more, 1.5 milligram nowadays. But anyway, the, the airflow wide open is definitely not for me. But for you guys who are major cloud chasers and, and you want tons and tons of airflow where it's like basically breathing, there's hardly any restriction there at all. So all we're doing now is go ahead and put the snake bite airflow. And by the way, once these O-rings get some uh, e-liquid on them, they're good. But when these things are dry, man, oh my god, it's, <laughs> it's a pain trying to snap it down. But the O-rings are good. Once it's lubricated, don't worry about that. So now I'm going to sneak by the airflow. Oh, this is a bit more restricted. Yeah, the airflow is more restricted than you know the other top cap with two airflow holes at the bottom or top open the flavor is a bit better on here the flavor is actually really good on the other airflow cap with the two bottom airflow holes open um with one airflow hole open um, you'll get a little bit more flavor obviously but it'll be just way more restricted and 
Uh, I mean, if you're like that, I mean, it's probably similar to the Dotma Petri in regards to airflow, one single airflow, because that's how the Dotma Petri is. But um, I actually like the Snakebite airflow. And I think if you're a fan of the original recoil, I mean, you'll love this one. I mean, the, the, the airflow, I love, I love the fact that with this cap, you know, you have so many different airflow configurations. So whether you want a cloud chase, you want a flavor chase, um, you want to kind of like in the middle of the road type of airflow where it's not too airy or too restricted. If you're a flavor chaser, you'll probably like this one. Um, the snake bite airflow where the airflow is kind of pointing down and going underneath your coils and coming up. Uh, I have no leaking. I mean, there's a lot of e-liquid in there and that Ultim top cap seems to be working just fine. Ultim top cap, Ultim, Ultim uh, ring. Yeah, I mean, you don't have to use it. Obviously, you could just you know, you use this RDA without it. But, you know, if, if you kind of want to not have a leak or whatever the case may be, and you travel with it in your pocket a lot, it might be useful to you. I'll probably be using it, honestly. Um, I think both the Recoil, the original Recoil and the Recoil Rebel are both great RDAs. I actually like this one a little bit more because you have more build room. Um, it's 25 millimeter in diameter once you have the top cap on. The, the juice well is a bit deeper. Um, like I said, you have more room. I think that's what's going to be the deciding factor of you guys who are recall RDA fans is, is the bi bigger build deck. You're going to have a lot more room to put like those staggered fuse clapped-ins and all these other gigantic crazy builds like you know quad-core aliens and all this other stuff. Now me, personally, I just vape like standard fuse clapped-in coils or sometimes alien coils. But my this is my go-to build. I pretty much tested almost all atomizers. I put a you know dual fuse clapped in with 26 gauge nitro and 36 gauge nitro mate. But overall, with the recoil RDA, it's good. I mean recoil the recoil rebel. Sorry, it's it's a good RDA. I actually like it quite a bit. It vapes pretty similar to the original, especially with this top cap. But with the other top cap, it, with all the different airflow combinations you have, you know. Uh, as I just showed you, there's plenty of different um, kind of airflow styles, and it actually brings out different flavor notes with this juice, which is kind of interesting. You don't experience that too much, you know, because you don't really have airflow that you can either close the top, close the bottom, or have the sides open, or whatever. So, with all that being said, I am impressed by the Recoil Rebel. I think it's a good all around RDA. I think you guys who are fans of the original Recoil will like it. If you don't own a Recoil, um, this is probably even more better to get, I guess, because it's, you know, you don't have one. Uh, to, but, you know, if you have already a recoil RDA, then, I mean, you might not want to get one because you might find that a little bit similar. But I think those minor differences and additions that they added with this newer version is definitely worth considering uh, getting. So I'll leave links down in the description where you can pick them up at. Like I said, this is just a first impression. I literally... Just built it and vaped it today. I, I haven't vaped it beforehand, and I actually like it quite a bit. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you liked it, give us a like. If you want to see more from Fat Cloud TV, give us a subscribe. Where we, you know, we'll be giving more previews. We'll be doing more tutorials and all kind of other videos. If you have any ideas or you want to see something, let us know in the description. We always love to hear from you guys. And with all that being said, thanks for watching and keep it cloudy.